<clears throat> all right shalom this is the brother daniel I'm coming back again with another quick lesson giving all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim alakakwadash you know just a uh quick uh lesson on on my lunch break here at the shaddah and uh you know just a topic that the spirit uh that i got through the spirit um i was listening to uh I believe uh, I'm a one. Uh, I'm a one. I bought the, the brother in um, uh, uh, in, in DC. I was listening. Uh, I can't remember precisely which brother I was listening to, but I think it was I'm a one. I bought. But um, you know, he mentioned and it kind of sparked my spirit. Where he said, "For without uh, without me, you can do nothing." Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab that first. I'm going to grab that first because, hey, without the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the sacrifice that he made, and the authority that he that he has over all judgment in all in all of the, the earth and in the heavens, right? Let like the scriptures say, all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. The scripture also say what? Um, for the, surely the Father will do nothing, but he delivered all judgment unto the son so the lord yahweh shai our lord all right who came down and died on the cross for the sins of the nation of israel all right starting with the elect he is is, is calling shots okay now of course in in the um the name of the heavenly father all right as his top representative for he has the highest seat of honor at the right hand of his majesty on high the heavenly father yahweh that's the majesty Right, all the angels in the heavens worship the Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, <clears throat> and and soon to come, the whole earth is going to give reverence unto Yahweh Shai and give reverence unto the Heavenly Father. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He is the Lord. And it's going to be it's going to be manifest. It's already in the heavens, but it's going to be manifest in the earth. As the scriptures say, "Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven." Right. So, um, right. So we can't we can't do anything without without the Lord. Nothing, not a thing. You can't even wake up the next morning unless the Lord uh, 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 has ordained or has it written in your story for you to wake up the next morning. Right. You can't do nothing without the Hawabah Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is John chapter 15, verse 5. It says, I am the vine. When you think about a vine, the vine does what when it comes to the flowers and the branches and the roots of a plant, right? It provides water and nutrients. Now, as far as a plant goes, plants are known as what you call a, uh, a, um, an, auto, an autotroph, autotroph. Let's get that real quick. Quick little little botany lesson. <laughs> Auto troph Salakia. Trough. Oh, we might have to just look it up in the conventional dictionary. But an autotroph, right? Auto Trough. Definition. <clears throat> an autotroph. It says an autotroph is an organism that can produce its own food using light, water, carbon dioxide, and other chemicals. So essentially, um, the, the plant it produces its own food by using the different elements that the Lord has set up, all right, to produce its own food, which really is what? Um, sugar. Right? That's why trees have sap. That's the food. The sap is the food or the, uh, the sustenance that the tree makes for itself to sustain itself. So when you think about it, hey, man, you know, that's why a lot of trees can be around for long, long period, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, probably even thousands of years, certain trees, right? Being set up in a situated in a certain place where they can have water and light and nutrients, you know, in the soil, right? <clears throat> and, and basically make their food to sustain themselves for super long periods of time, right? 
So, um, in that sense, let me read this again. Let me read this again. You know, just a little quick tidbit. It's called an auto trial. Auto meaning self. And um, I believe trough probably means food. Or, you know, we, we could try to see if we could look that up real quick. The suffix. This is a great thing about this etymology dictionary. Trophic. There we go. Trophic, it says, upper pertaining to nutrition, food, or nourishment. Right? From trough, nourishment. So, auto trough. Self nourishing. So, plants are self nourishing. Right? They create their own food. But they need the right conditions to create their own food. You know? There's another term for, uh, say, if you have a carnivore, there, there's another trophic, or they get their nutrients by taking it from another organism. So, you know, <clears throat> there you go. Now, let's, let's go back to that precept. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Okay? Right, so you think about a vine, you think about the little branches that come off of it that main little part or the, the main part or the stem or in the case of the tree the uh, the the trunk right it transports all the waters and nutrients to the other little parts of the of the um of the uh of the body of the tree right it says ye are the branches ye that abideth in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit right so <clears throat> the the nutrients right which ate hey, uh, through, the, through, the, through the the power of Yahweh the Holy Spirit which is sent down all right from our Lord Yahweh Shai that was those prayed of the Father to be sent unto us is through Yahweh Shai that we're able to see, receive the spiritual nutrients of this truth the spiritual understanding of this truth so we're not able to do it without the Lord right it stems there you go stem <laughs> it stems or originates from the Lord Yahweh Shai okay he's our mediator between um, us and the Heavenly Father he's the high priest after the order of Malak Tezadak Melchizedek right it says um, the same bringeth forth much fruit okay <clears throat> So you think about a tree or a plant, you got the vine. All right, the vine has the main part that has the water and the nutrients. It you know, transplants it to the, or it, it takes it to the other, but disperse, it distributes, so like it, distributes it to the different branches and parts. And then off of the ends of those branches, what? You get fruit that's produced. And what's in the fruit, you know? A lot of times in the fruit, you got what? Water. You know, certain percentage of water. You know, just giving a more of a, of a visual understanding. You know, the Lord is um, simplistic when He teaches things, so He make it so easy for a baby to understand. But <laughs> you know, if if you don't have this, the Holy Spirit, you're not going to understand what He's saying. Because though He's saying simple things and using many parables of things that are relatable. To especially that lifetime agriculture, um, people still won't get it because they haven't been given the ears to hear and, and the eyes to see, man. They, they haven't been given the ability to receive the truth, right? For without me, ye can do nothing, right? So without the Lord Yahweh Shai, we can't do anything, right? You imagine if the trunk of the tree wasn't there. And it was just branches. How was the branches going to get the water and the nutrients? Or a vine with the grapes. How was the grapes going to get the water and the nutrients without the vine? Right? You know, the vine being connected to the nutrients and supplying it. All right? In that case, the Lord, uh, you know, being connected unto the Heavenly Father. All right? And having jurisdiction over the Holy Spirit. All right? And the angels that he sent down to give us this understanding, right? So, hey, and that's in the sense of us being able to teach this word and do these different, um, you know, uh, teachings and break down the scriptures directly and correctly, but without the Lord, we can't do it. 
Without the Lord, you can't do anything. Like I said, you can't even wake up the next morning. You know, you can't, you know, and that's why, you know, uh, elders always push. It's good to, to, to pray, man. You know, because some days, man, you wake up and, you know, you be tired as I don't know what. You didn't get no, no good sleep. You might have had uh, <clears throat> spirits messing with you that night. Or your mind might have been just had a multitude of busyness or you, you, you know you, you just can't you know sleep sometimes you just can't sleep man you just up you know which hey at that point this is a good time to do a video but you just up man you know that's why you know so certain brothers they'll be up at three o'clock in the morning they'll do a video five o'clock in the morning you just can't sleep so you're tired as you don't know you're tired as all hell man and then you got to go into work and try to, uh, you know, hey, man, but brothers be working at long hours, man. You know, nonstop, especially brothers with uh, kids and wife. You got family you have to tend to, right? Of course, you tend to the word first and foremost, but you got a family to tend to. You got uh, work. And the average, the average American... Right, because we're in America, they they consider us Americans, just like Paul was considered a Roman. The average American has to work more than forty hours to survive. They got to work more than forty hours, you know, especially at these typical jobs, right? So you be tired as all hell. You you got you know you throw a prayer for the Lord to give you the spirit, of course, to endure until the end, but to endure the day. To endure the day that you got right now, you know I, I'm, I'm always praying that Lord just give, give me the spirit and the strength to endure until the end, but especially give me, give me the spirit to endure this day, right? Um, let me get this precept right here. We're gonna go to uh, real quick. I'm gonna go to Matthew's chapter. Matthew's chapter six and verse. And that's what the Lord, you know, he gave us, we got the Lord's Prayer, right? Which encapsulates everything that, you know, it sums up everything that we should ask the Lord, you know, and, 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 and the gist of everything, man. You know, our daily bread, forgiveness, his kingdom established upon the earth, right? everything man power and glory upon the earth and his kingdom but um let's get this right here uh um matthew 6 and 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so if you seek in the the, the kingdom of the most high you're doing work up for the lord unto the lord for his ministry all right you're doing service unto yahweh shai unto the brethren you're teaching or you're helping right you're you're you're, you're um you are consistently um what's the word i'm looking for you are consistently um putting time energy and attention to help the cause of uh, waking up the elect okay if you do all those things guess what the Lord going to make sure you eat. The Lord going to make sure you got somewhere to live. The Lord going to make sure you have all your necessities and what you need to do. All right. And what you need to survive. It says, take therefore no thought for the morrow. So don't worry about tomorrow. Yeah, we plan things out. Okay. If we just, really, it's everything Lord will. Lord will, if I wake up tomorrow, I'll do this or that. Right? Lord will, if I'm here for another week, we make it back, you know, to another week to where we could do camp. We'll do this or that. Right? <clears throat> it says, but seek ye first, uh, Salakia, so take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So when you get there, then you worry about, then you, you know, tend to what happens to tomorrow. But if t tomorrow's not here yet, why are you worrying about it? You know, and really, and, and all, all realistically, how is there a guarantee that you're even going to wake up tomorrow? Right? The Lord could, could require your spirit tonight. You know? And it might be uh, a thing of um, 
Like, why, why tonight? Because it's, hey, it's your time. The Lord wants you, you know, back home in the spiritual realm. Your first estate, he wants you back. You know, tonight. You know, for whatever uh, his pleasure is. Whether you were doing, whether you were uh, doing righteously or, or wickedly. Right? The Lord can call you back anytime. He can do what he wants. Right? So, hey, if like Elder Apostle Rachel always says, you know, hey, <laughs> basically, you know, thanking the Lord and blessing the Lord for being able to wake up and see see the sun upon the earth again, man. To be, you know, to be awake again, right? Yeah, I, I look at it as you got another opportunity, especially if you, you wake up the next day, you know the name of the Lord, you still know the truth, you know, you're in your right mind, so to speak. And you got another opportunity to prove yourself unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's a that's a blessing, right? So um, uh, I'm saying we're we'll gonna make it quick. Um, it says uh, therefore, so like it, so like it. It says uh, for the marshal take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Meaning what? You have enough. Sufficient means enough. You have enough evil to worry about right now than to worry about tomorrow. Right? First things first. Worry about what you have to endure. All right? The hardships, the afflictions, the tribulations that you have to endure that's right before you on this day. And then when you get to tomorrow, when you get to, if you get to tomorrow, you can worry about that. Too. You can worry about that when you get there. You know, you'll see when you get there. Right? So hey, you, you can't you can't even uh you can't hey just in general you cannot endure without the Lord Yahweh Shai. Without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you can't endure. Let me see this. Um unto his own master does he Stand or fall. Okay, they leave. This is oh look at that. Romans 14 and 4. 144, four, baby. Right? You think about the, the, the 144,000 representing the elect or you know the the um upper echelon of the elect, right? Um you can't lay anything to the charge of the elect, right? The Most High uh, justifieth and the Most High deems righteous, okay? And that was done at the beginning of time. So there's nothing anybody can say or do to, to try and uh, uh, get me the mercy of the Lord taken away from you. No, the mercy is dished out from the Heavenly Father, all right? Through His only, through his only begotten Son. It, nobody can say or do anything against it. The, the, the creator of the, the, the king of the universe Right It says Romans uh, 14 and 4 It says who art thou that judges Another man's servant And that's what people try to do unto us You know us that, that be that are Of the hopeful elect right Those of us that may be of the elect They try to say all types of stuff Well, well, well you you curse so you You can't be a man of the Lord I'm the Lord gonna save you Or you do this and this and that Yeah we're in the flesh You know and if we be of the elect, the Lord is going to have mercy upon us and save us, man. Okay? And, and glorify his elect. Just as the Lord Yahweh Shah was glorified by the Heavenly Father. It says, uh, to his own master. Right? So it's the master's authority, whatever he wants to do with his servant. Okay? To, it says, to his own master, he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holding up, for the Most High is able to make him stand. Right? The Most High is able to make you stand. The Most High is able to make you endure. Also, the Most High is able to make you fall. The Most High is able to take you out of the truth. He puts you in there and he could take you out. This is why the scripture says this also, right? Once again, Without the Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, we can do nothing. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. That is the Lord Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the life. 
okay? He, he's, the, he's the door or the, the pathway back unto uh, the Heavenly Father, you know, being adopted unto the Lord, all right? And being reconciled back unto the Heavenly Father. You, there's no other way, right? So uh, let's get this um, here. Um, um, okay, the, the scripture uh, Lord will, will come back. Ah, uh, uh, man. Ah, uh, man. Uh, I don't like when that happens. The scripture was there for a second. Um, hold on, what was I just reading? Okay, boom, boom, boom. There we go, there we go. Hey, man, these are... Uh, <laughs> these bodies are weak man can't even hold hold a you know what i mean a thought that long you know um but psalms chapter 2 and verse uh, 10 it says be wise now therefore O ye kings be instructed ye judges of the earth the kings and the judges of the earth are the israelite men the israelites those are the true kings and the true judges all right it says, uh, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear. So when you're serving the Lord, you have to serve him with fear, right? Seeking out your salvation with fear and trembling, right? Being very cautious on how you move and because I don't want to, I don't want to piss the Lord off, Right? Just like we read before, to his own master does he stand to his, or fall, right? And we're reading this right here. And rejoice with trembling. You're going to rejoice. Oh, I'm happy. We found out about the truth and the kingdom. Oh, praise the most high, but still you're afraid. It says, kiss the sun. Kiss meaning to respect, to, to pay homage unto to do the things that are pleasing right because you know you get a kiss from a beautiful like you get a kiss from a beautiful woman that's very that's very pleasing right so and respecting the lord yahweh shai and and being uh, uh obedient like the scripture said uh if you love me keep my commandments right a kiss is a gesture of love right all right and we know that the commandments of yahweh bashim yahweh shai right or the things that are pleasurable unto him, right? Kiss the son, respect him, do the things that are pleasurable unto him, right? Which we know is in the scriptures, uh, Baruch chapter 4, right? L lest he be angry, you, you, you better do what the Lord likes, lest he, lest he get angry. What happens if you get angry? It says, and thou perish from the way, you fall, your master all right, which is the Lord Yahweh Shai, causes you to fall, causes you to perish off the path of righteousness. You're done, right? Out of the truth, but then looking for a uh, a fearful, looking for a judgment, man. That's scary. When we read all the different prophecies of destruction, what the Lord's going to do to people when he comes back in the chariots, even leading up to that, all the, the, the different spirits of vengeance the Lord's going to let loose on people, man, that is, so, that is scary. It's even scarier, you know, the Lord is actually, you know, the pr presence of the Lord is actually upon the earth. And he got, you know, certain, certain individuals, he got special judgment for them. 